Hi, I'm Eric Rossi with Black Box Analog Design, and we're here at AES 2012 in San Francisco, and we're here with the Black Box Analog Design Vacuum 2 Microphone Preamplifier. Uh, when we designed this, we designed this from the ground up with no preconceived ideas of what a microphone preamplifier circuit should look like. So we really weren't tied down by any convention, and what we ended up with was uh, a design that not only functions in a unique way and gives you a unique ability to shape the tone, but it actually is uh, unique in terms of how the circuit itself works. Uh, one of our philosophies um, that kind of differs from a lot of what's out there today is that we're not going for the lowest THD ultra clean. Uh, a lot of people will advertise, you know, we have incredibly low THD, um, pristine, clean on the way in, doesn't add anything, but for us, we love harmonics, um, our ears love harmonics, even saturation. So for us, it was really about letting our ears guide us. Um, and in doing so, we ended up with this preamplifier, again, all tube, uh, there's no solid state circuitry whatsoever, all high voltage, um, but that not only gives you these incredible harmonics that you can, you can get out of the tubes, but it lets you also control uh, the curve of what you're recording. So for instance, we have a pentode and a triode adjustment, and that is actually the gain uh, for each of the tube stages. Uh, but in addition to being tied to gain, these actually adjust the curve of the response. So between these, um, it's constantly variable impedance. And so what it allows us to do is really shape uh, the response from the low end to the high end to tilt, uh, to get some extra mids, to scoop it out a bit, um, and really anything in between. So without the use of an EQ, uh, we're able to control entirely what, essentially how the microphone hears. Uh, and so it lets us capture at the very first stage the way we want to hear it. Additionally, we have some other, we have tone uh, boost on the pentode, which gives us a bump in the uh, high mids. We have a full boost, gives us more gain. And the triode's the same thing. Um, and on the triode, uh, another thing that's kind of interesting is that when you get up past about halfway, the triode actually begins to increase the gain of the harmonics at about a two to one ratio over the fundamental. So essentially, you, you set your levels and you have your, your signal kind of where you want it and you can start to add these really nice, fantastic harmonics without changing the level too much. So really, um, you have this whole, whole kind of signal flow where each stage affects the next, and what happens is that in the end, you end up with something where you can dial in your tone really intuitively. You just walk up to it, and rather than being focused on where it's set, you kind of do it by feel, and by turning them kind of against each other and in sync with each other, you can really change how it responds. Um, you also have your standard features, low cut, um, switchable input impedance, which is done actually at the transformer. So rather than being done after that stage, it's actually done by tapping into the transformer different windings. Uh, 48 volt phantom power, of course, phase. And we also have a fantastic DI, so for guitar or bass. And uh, with the exception of the transformer, it runs through the exact same circuitry, so you can get really great saturation uh, and harmonics and get really killer bass and guitar tones directly directly here with, without going into any other you know di or any uh any other eq or saturation or uh speaker you know emulation so there you have it the black box analog design mic pre and uh, if you have any questions you can uh go to our site or uh contact vintage king